Hey y'all, it's Larry down here at Canal Machine and Welding. Uh, the other day we done our introductory video and uh, I missed an introduction and I apologize for that. So we're gonna we're gonna back up here and uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you an introduction to another fellow that uh, he's kind of part time here in the shop and uh, you'll understand why here in just a second. Right over here is Thor. Okay, and Thor, Thor, he's our, uh, he's our part-time, uh, shop foreman here, you know, uh, he's, uh, you know, he wears the Thor helmet, and he's got the badass look, and, uh, you know, got the badass do-rag on under there. Thor, Thor, he usually, uh, he's usually the one that's in charge when things, uh, things get out of hand around here. Uh, and we had a mistake the other day that, uh, we had to fix, and, and of course it was Thor that was in charge when all that happened. And what it was, it was where we had broke through into the primer on this on this panel here. And of course I went back with an airbrush and touched it up and, and it doesn't look too bad. We still have to rub it out, but uh but it uh I believe we're gonna be okay here. But at any rate, so uh so this is our buddy Thor over here and he uh like I say, whenever 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 something really gets fucked up, usually it's it's uh, it's Thor. Uh, Thor was in charge when it happened, so hopefully Thor ain't gonna be uh, Thor ain't gonna be in charge today. I'm uh, I'm gonna kind of keep the keep the keep the reins to myself today. Uh, today, what we're working on, we're gonna we're actually we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be bonding this this panel here that you see in front of us as fender for this '54 GMC truck. Yesterday, we welded in this gas door, and that doesn't seem like, all may not seem like all that big of a chore, but actually it was, because when we weld fitted this in, initially, I, uh, I measured everything out, and I cut the, uh, cut the hole for the, for the gas door, and it's a prefab gas door, it come from a, from a little hot rod shop. And uh, these doors, when you get them, and this is, this, is, this is something that may help one of you guys out. When you get these things, they have one curve in them, okay? And that curve is this, okay? Where it rolls off of the top and down and around. And like I say, you can use these. They're near anywhere. You know, you could use it down here if that's what works for you or, or up here or wherever that curve is about right but here's the problem about right just wasn't going to get it on this and the problem was was that we had more curve here a little less curve here plus we had it, it kind of rolls this way this fender does and I could get this corner down and this corner down and this corner down and this corner was hanging up about this far so if I got to the point that I had this corner down, well then, my goodness, this one up here was uh, under about a half an inch. And it just wasn't going to work. Now, I'll show you what we did here. Let me get this thing up on the bench. Because we have to go to the back side to, to show you this. What we wound up doing, okay, these gas doors... This box on the back side is already spot welded in place when you get these. What we wound up doing was having to cut this box off of the face panel. Okay, that allowed, that allowed this face to move. We could flex it. We got the face welded in, in line with the rest of the panel. Then, this box, it really doesn't matter where it winds up. So after we cut it off, I mean, as long as it winds up basically in the center of the, uh, in the, in the, center of the gas door, so that it's functional, that's all you're really after. So once we got the, pan, the front panel welded in, then we came to the back side. We fit this radius and this radius and re-welded the, uh, 
the box in from the back side. Okay, so any of you guys that ever decide to, uh, to try to weld one of these in, uh, pay attention here because this is something that really, uh, really may be important to you because, like I say, chances are one of these, uh, one of these gas doors, no matter how close that radius is to what you're looking for, it's probably not going to be perfect. And if you want it perfect to where all you have to do is put a thin skim of Bondo over it and, and it's ready to finish, this is what you're going to have to do, guys. So uh, I really wish that I would have uh, I would have documented all that. I wish I would have videoed all that as we went through it and showed it to you guys. But, uh, you know, at, that fucking Thor over there, he was in charge yesterday and uh, he didn't have the GoPro out, so... So we didn't get the, the video documentation. So, uh, but we can at least back up and explain what we did and try to, uh, try to give you a little, a few hints and, and uh, uh, tips along the way as to what we did pick up on it. So, so there you have it, folks. Uh, I, if, if we run into anything else we think may help you today, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it down on video and, and uh, so we can help you, the K&L viewer, out. So you don't make the same mistakes that we do. This is Lucky Larry down here at K&L Machine and Welding, and uh, we'll catch you later.